Welcome back guys to another Clash Royale video and today we're going to be taking a look at the bowler because I managed to get it in a silver chest on my mini account. But here is the deck I'm using. Let's go ahead and take a look at some replays here. So here we are guys facing off against level 8 which is very surprising because like 95% of my battles at this trophy range are against higher levels. Now neither of us really wanted to make the opening move here so we both kind of sat back and waited a fair bit. So I'm going to speed up the footage here and then in the end I ended up getting impatient and dropped down my musketeer on the right hand side and he ended up dropping down his P.E.K.K.A on the left hand side there. So he is using the P.E.K.K.A double print strategy. Now we are pretty equal level and his card levels are actually pretty comparable to mine. So like I said this should be a pretty fair fight. I got the Valkyrie as well as the Musketeer going up on the right hand side. P.E.K.K.A and the Dark Prince on the left hand lane. Gonna go ahead and use the cannon to take out that Dark Prince pretty easily. And now right here I do have to worry about this P.E.K.K.A. Gonna go ahead and use the Goblins here but unfortunately they are not enough to take out the P.E.K.K.A. So I'm also forced to use my Bowler. Now the Bowler has a decent amount of health. So hopefully he can tank this P.E.K.K.A and also take out the Ice Wizard. Now take a look on the right hand side. That one Valkyrie Musketeer push was able to do some decent damage to the tower. Bring it down to 176 health. Now right here, hopefully the Musketeer can go in here and finish it off. Give me the one crown lead. Now he's going to drop down the Dark Prince to try and counter my Musketeer. A little bit too late, so we do have the one crown lead like I said. Valkyrie going down right here to counter the Dark Prince. Pretty easy defense right there. And with a minute 37 seconds left in this battle, all I really have to do is just play defense and I will get the one crown victory. Now my opponent here makes the interesting decision to drop the electric pump on the right side of his tower. Um, if I was him I would have dropped the pump on the left hand side. It would have been protected by both of his towers. And right here the Valkyrie was able to go in there and get a couple hits on the pump. Preventing any electric advantage that he would have got from it. Now right here he's coming with the Prince. Gonna go ahead and use the Goblins to take it out. As well as the Cannon. And he also has the Minions coming in the back. Gonna go ahead and use the Musketeer to counter those Minions. Now I'm pretty low on Elixir here. So I'm gonna wait a quick second and see if he makes another move. He drops on the Ice Wizard. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Valkyrie in front of my Musketeer to support her. And then use the Fireball and completely miss that Princess. And waste a perfectly good opportunity to get a huge elixir advantage. So unfortunately, I missed that princess and now I still have to have an answer for that princess. So right here, Dark Prince gonna go down, gonna go ahead and use the cannon to distract the Dark Prince, and then use the Musketeer to take out the Ice Wizard, and also drop down the Valkyrie right up front, right at the bridge to hopefully take out both of the princesses. Now Bowler going down here. Now I always kind of assumed the Bowler was a tanky unit, considering he does cost 6 elixir. But as you'll see in this replay and in the next replays, the Bowler actually dies super fast. And I don't know if that's just because my Bowler is only level 1. But you know, let me know in the comment section below, do you guys have a higher level Bowler? Does it work for you? And what kind of decks are you guys using? This was literally my first battle with the Bowler. So I was still kind of figuring it out. But right here, going to go ahead and use the Goblins to distract that Prince. And with 3 seconds left, we do get the 1 crown victory. Let's go ahead to the next replay here. So here we are guys, facing off against the level 9 NT plays. Who by the way, isn't very happy as you can see right there. Now both of us, going to wait a quick second. Build up the Elixir to 10 before we make our opening moves. But I want to hear what you guys think because I think they should raise the starting Elixir from 5 all the way up to 10. So that that way when a battle starts, both players can start making some moves immediately. Instead of having to wait a couple seconds to build up the Elixir before they can make their opening moves. Now unfortunately I didn't really have the greatest starting hand. So I had to use the Goblins just to cycle towards my Valkyrie. And right here getting ready for this defense. Gonna go ahead and use the Zap Spell to reset the charge attack on that Prince. And drop the cannon to distract the golem as well. And overall, as you'll see here, we ended up defending this push pretty well. Prince going down here, everything targeting the golemites. And in the end, the musketeer is still alive, taking out the ice wizard. Now right here, I have a decision to make. I can either use the Valkyrie up front in front of the musketeer and support her on a counter push. Or I can go ahead and use the pump. I decided to use the pump, as you can see right there, just because the bowler is pretty expensive costing 6 elixir so I want to save for the overtime or sorry for the double elixir period and hopefully I have enough elixir to set up an overwhelming push. Now my opponent here actually decided to mirror his elixir pumps and as you can see I actually had the fireball selected for a quick second there. I was actually trying to see if I could use the fireball to attack the tower as well as both pumps but in the end the fireball would not reach all three of those targets so I decided to not use the fireball and get ready for this defense on the left hand lane right here. So the musketeer going up front, gonna go ahead and use the fireball, damage that tower as well as damage the ice wizard as well as the wizard. 
Bullard going in there and with his range attack finishing out that wizard and dropping down a cannon once again to distract the golem. Golem is going down here to hopefully take out that prince. Now overall once again we do a pretty good job defending this push. Valkyrie going on there finishing out the golem might. Now right here we have a pretty decent counter push going on with the bowler in the back as well as the Valkyrie in the front. Now take a look at this. He drops down a golem at the very last second but my bowler managed to get two hits in the tower with his ranged attack and now he drops down a skeleton army right here. I mean my Valkyrie and my bowler both have splash damage so not really too sure why he used the skeleton army right there. Now take a look at my bowler right here and this is what I was talking about a little bit earlier. I kind of assumed that the bowler was more of a tanky unit considering he cost 6 elixir but that wizard with the prince took it out pretty quickly in only a couple of seconds so he definitely seems like he's fairly low on the health but I don't know if that's just because my bowler is only level 1. Um, but right here we do have a decent counter push going on with the Valkyrie up front and two musketeers in the back. Golem going in there. And the Golem actually dies before he even makes it over the tower. So really good defense right there and we're also building up a pretty strong counter push. But take a look at this one wizard that he plays right here. The wizard attacking my bowler, taking out one musketeer, taking out the second musketeer, and then finishing off the bowler. So like I said, the bowler doesn't seem like he has too much health on him, um, considering he costs 6 elixir. Now right here, Prince coming out on the right hand side. I'm gonna go ahead and use the goblins to distract it. And he actually mirrors Prince's. And take a look at how much damage this Prince does per hit to my bowler. Now once again, he drops down the skeleton army to counter my Valkyrie as well as the bowler. So not really too sure what he was doing right there. But right here we do manage to overwhelm him and we are gonna get the one crown victory. So there we go guys. Let's go ahead to the final replay here. So here we are guys with the final replay facing off against Style Mac here. Now my opponent once again using a golem deck. Really strange today how many people I've been facing using the golem strategy. But I do have the elixir pump in my starting hand. So that will be my opening move placing it down in the back right corner there. He's going to start setting up a slow push with the golem when the back man is king tower and I'm not ready to put on immediate pressure on the left hand lane. So I'm actually going to get ready for this defense right here, dropping down the musketeer on the bottom right corner there. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the cannon and drop it down in the middle of my base, hopefully to distract the golem. He drops down a mini P.E.K.K.A way in the back, I'm going to go ahead and use some goblins here to distract the mini P.E.K.K.A and then use the Valkyrie hopefully to take it out and as you can see right here the golem dying pretty quickly with both towers with the musketeer and the cannon taking it out now right here unfortunately my musketeer does die to the valkyrie gonna go ahead and use the bowler here to take out the valkyrie as well as the uh, golemite sorry now if i didn't use that bowler the ice wizard would have slowed down my tower and together the golemite and the ice wizard would have done a decent amount of damage to my tower so thankfully i did have enough elixir to place on the bowler to defend now right here gonna go ahead and use a musketeer to support this bowler push and hopefully set up a decent counter push and take a look at this watch what happens right here the bowler actually pushes back the witch into the left hand lane and as a result the witch actually leaves the post and allows both the bowler and the valkyrie or sorry the musketeer to damage that tower bring it all the way down to 1300 help so really neat trick there with the bowler knocking back that witch into the left hand lane now right here gonna start setting up another push on the right hand side with that bowler and i kind of have a decision here to make i can either support this bowler push or go ahead and place down another pump i'm actually going to go ahead and support the bowler with a valkyrie up front so I don't just want to waste the 6 elixir that I invested in that bowler. Down goes the fireball here to damage that tower. Now my intention here was that the fireball zap combo can kill a level 1 ice wizard. So if I can take out that ice wizard with a zap spell later on, that is good use of the elixir and also getting some damage in the tower as well. So right here, witch going down, gonna go ahead and use the zap spell like I said to finish off the ice wizard and also kill all these skeletons by that witch. Now right here, bowler hopefully damaging that witch, knocking her back. Valkyrie going down in front. Now take a look at this. The bowler is still alive with one health left and he's forced to use the arrows to kill that bowler. And right here, Musketeer going in there, getting one shot on that tower, bringing it all the way down to 760 health. Goblin's going down here to distract the mini P.E.K.K.A. Musketeer going in there to finish it off. And right here, we have a decent counter push once again. Bowler going down in front of the Musketeer. And like I said, setting up a decent counter push. Now, unfortunately, he drops down the Valkyrie but take a look at the knockback here by the bowler, saving the musketeer as well as the bowler from any damage from that Valkyrie. Right here, gonna go ahead and use the cannon to distract the go uh, golem, sorry. Valkyrie going in there, doing some decent damage to the golemites. Now, thankfully, my musketeer on the right hand side locked onto the witch, damaging it down to one health. The bowler only needed one shot to finish it off. And right here, take a look at this push that I have going on here. Fireball going down to finish off the ice wizard, as well as damage the tower. 
two bowler going in there. He drops down the witch out of desperation to help protect his tower. But in the end, we do get the one crown victory right here with this final bowl from the bowler. And there we go, guys, getting the one crown victory, like I said. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.